You're watching Chef Club. Follow our account for more ideas. I'm gonna add this to our hot plancha as well. Add some Monterey Jack cheese to the top of this. Okay. And then I'm gonna take another tortilla dipped in our chili oil, and I'm gonna place that on top. Let the cheese melt a little bit. So flip this over, get the other side nice and toasted. And then we're going to take the cheesy side and place it on top, like so. I'm gonna turn the bacon over, and then we're gonna take the cheesy side tortilla and place it right on top of that bacon. Now our other tortillas, gonna just do the same thing, chili oil, some Monterey Jack, and topped with another tortilla. Flip this over again, get this side nice and toasted, and we're going to switch out the cheesy side once more. And just like before, we're gonna put this cheesy side right there on top, flip it over, and we're ready for the next step. So I have a chicken breast that I'm going to cut into a crosshatch style. I'm going to place skewers up through chicken like so. Depending on the size of your chicken, maybe two to three skewers. And we've got that nice texture on the chicken now. It's going to help the marinade absorb a little better and cook a little more evenly. So I'm gonna transfer it over to flame. And we're gonna add some of the Tex-Mex oil that we made earlier. So this is why the cutting technique is really cool for this because it allows the marinade to really penetrate through all parts of the chicken. And the flame is gonna jump a little bit because of the spices in the oil, that's fine. It's gonna help us get a good char. I'm also gonna add some more of our Tex-Mex mix. A little extra kick. And then I'm just gonna let it rest here for a little bit on the flame. So once your chicken is fully cooked, you can take it off the flame and let it rest and move on to the next step. So let's build our wraps. I'm going to add some of our guacamole, top that with our grilled chicken. Top this off with some fresh chopped cilantro and you're ready to enjoy.
And I'm just going to be watching our little bit of onions here, a little bit of oil. All right, so once you got your onions good, give it a little nudge, and then we're going to go through for the smash burger. Looks great. Do the same thing here. Looks absolutely wonderful there. Take a few pickles. That looks absolutely wonderful. Now you need to finish again with some mustard. So this is going to go to the top. Go ahead and do it here as well. Awesome. Now here's the kicker. Once you go through, we're going to place it right on top. Now you need to kind of break it apart. Just like so. And then I'm going to take all of it. All right, so now I'm going to finish off with the meat here. And now it's time for the next step with cheddar. So guys, if you've never seen a machine like this, this is called a racklet machine. So what this does is melts cheese. So I'm going to be melting our cheddar. And so you need a glove. We're going to lift up and then put it right under. Do the same thing for this one. And now guess what? You've got to let it melt. All right, so once our cheese has kind of been grilled, you're going to pull both out, let them hang over just a little bit. And with our bacon, we're going to put six pieces on each. So something very easy to do. And the reason that we're pulling out the cheese is so you don't burn yourself. All right, so now add some Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, and you're going to pour this in a little bit of a zigzag pattern right over it. And who doesn't love bacon, cheddar, and also barbecue sauce with a little bit of Jack Daniels? All right, so that looks great. I'm going to put this behind. Now we need to go back in. So just like so. And just like so. Now, while that's going, I'm going to take my french fries and get those set up so that now we can go and do a little cool little action scene that I think you're really, really going to enjoy. All right, so what you'll do once everything is kind of grilled, you let it sit down, hold it, and then what you'll use, use the back of your knife, and then all you're going to do is just push down ever so slightly. But now we're just going to go right on top. All right, so now I'm going to let that set. Now we're going to go to the straight second one. And so you can do the same exact thing. And if you see this, this looks absolutely wonderful and a little bit sexy. All right, so now this is going to go down for our second step. All right, so now I'm going to add this to our final. All right, so now it's time to add our famous smash burger. And we're going to go right in the center, guys. Spread it out a little bit. And then for a little bit of spice, I'm going to add a little bit of greenery as well, but some fresh jalapenos with the seeds. Just be mindful. And guys, there you go. Use a cool little spatula. Knock off a piece here. Can't wait. That's absolutely amazing. Make sure to check out this recipe only on chefclub.tv.